Now we can move on with the next pre-processing step. So as you can see in our case, the time zone correction is now completed. Um, but as I said previously, um, the vast majority of you will not have to do that at all. So that will just simply be not applicable and you'll arrive here only need with static detection check being your one and only pre-processing pre step that you need to perform. So just to quickly reiterate as to what it is, um, mega detector, which generates the bounding boxes um, and detects the animals, uh, does make mistakes. Occasionally, it, and it does pick up uh, man-made objects, um, as well as sort of odd-looking um, logs and rocks and stuff like that, and flags them as potential animals, especially when you have a bit of a lower, more conservative threshold as we do. The idea is that these tend to occur in a static position across all the images from a particular camera, and we can now automatically flag them. And so the idea then is you can just simply either accept a suggested um, static detection or eject them and just essentially improve the performance of the system. Um, so all we need to do here is simply click launch or skip if you don't want to do it, although that is not recommended before. So this is the interface. As you can see, um, there are only 12 static detections, um, potential static detections that need to be looked at. Um, so obviously it won't take very long. And your options are very simple. You can either accept or reject them. Um, and essentially what works is that there is a static detection at this particular camera occurring in that area. And so all these um, um, all these boxes um, are all the matching boxes from that static source. So in this case, you can see it's actually not a static detection. Um, a, um, it's just vehicles driving the consistence of a consistent size, driving a consistent speed have resulted in um, you know, consistent static detections, um, which you'll see does a, you know, even with animals, that tends to happen a lot. Um, and so you can just page through all the images where that detection is present, um, just to, if, to get more information if you need it, but we've seen all we need to know. Um, so we can just very simply say, um, reject, or press the hot key R, say that's not static detection. Again, this is the exact same case, so we just simply reject that. Again, same thing, we reject that. Here we actually have a static detection. So we can see that um, there's an object here, it's a log. Maybe it's a bit difficult to see. You'll see there's a, if you hold space bar, it hides the boxes just to make it a bit easier. Um, but we can see that that's a log. And if we just want to send it to check, uh, we can just check that is a log and it's just always there in the same position. Um, and there are 23 images associated with that static detection. So all we need to do is quite simply just accept that. Now, same camera, um, just now a slightly larger before we were detecting a subset of the log, now we're detecting a larger section of the log. Um, again, this is just a static detection, so we just accept that. It's a car, reject, 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 and we're done. And at any point you want to change your decision on a previous um, static detection, you simply just click undo there at the bottom, press the tilde key, um, and now, um, as before, we just get a notification saying, telling us that we're done. And if we do want to go back and make any changes, now is the time to do so. Otherwise, we can just say down to submit and move on. Now I'll take us back to the surveys page. We will see that um, the survey is continuing the import process. So we just need to wait for that to complete. 